all accidents are preventable. The industry standards that we use are American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, American Standards Testing Materials, ASTM, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, and Underwriters Laboratory, UL. Personal protective equipment for the head fall under ANSI 41. Plastic helmets usually cost around $5 to $10 per helmet. They have an adjustable suspension system that must be adjusted and test fitted on your head, checked by your foreman or supervisor. They prevent all head injuries resulting from falls or walking into sharp or denser objects. Eye protection and face protection is covered by ANSI Z87.1. These are tested by dropping a steel rod three feet into eye protection with no resulting penetration through the sunglasses or eye protection or face shield. An average total cost for an eye injury with no protection is around $1,463, and that's according to OSHA Safety and Health Management Systems. And you can look this up on eTool at Cost of Accidents, www.osha.gov. An average total time lost from recovery from an eye injury can be from one week to six months, depending on the severity of the injury. A scratched cornea, which would be about a week or longer, all the way up to, but not including, an eyeball penetration. The cost of the ANSI Standards Z87.1 approved plastic eye protection eyewear is anywhere from $4 to $30. A face shield average cost is $30 to $100. Eye protection is the first of most important PPE safety gear and should be worn at all times when any tool is used. The other standard for eye protection for electrical workers resulting from an electrical arc blast would be ANSI Z87.2. These are hoods or face shields that cost on average of $300 up to $1,000. They protect your eyes from the UV light resulting from the electrical arc created from a dead short from an ungrounded to a grounded hot to a neutral short circuit. The resulting temperature would be 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or five to seven times the heat of the surface of the sun. Proper work clothing. Shirts must cover your full abdomen, your shoulders, and four inches of sleeve down your shoulders, down the upper arms. Pants should fit snugly around the waist, all the way up to the top of the boots. High visibility clothing should be either a bright yellow or orange. For night work, they should have a reflective stripe pattern that is easily recognized during night driving and rainy conditions. The average cost of ANSI-approved high-visibility shirt or vest is $10 to $50. The reflective stripes increase the cost. Gloves should have either yellow or orange brightly colored pattern and reflective stripes, again for night work. There are cotton gloves for light work, leather gloves for heavy or rough work, and Kevlar gloves to prevent accidental scratches and cuts from metal or other sharp objects. Steel-toed boots. The cost of an ANSI Z41.1 approved steel toe boots range anywhere from $25 to $200. These are a thick leather boot with shoelace straps in the front, a steel toe cap to prevent the toes from being crushed or cut from a heavy or sharp object falling on the front of the foot and a thick rubber or steel shank or undercovering under the feet to prevent nails or other sharp objects from entering the boot and injuring the bottom of the foot. Knee pads should be securely fastened with one or two straps around the back of the knee and protect the entire kneecap. The cost of ANSI-approved knee pads is $25 to $80. Breathing mask or filter selection this is going to be used to prevent dust from entering the lungs or chemicals or bacteria such as mold or toxins, spores, or viruses. The proper filter must be selected and correctly installed on the breathing mask. Check for fit. The best way to check for fit is to adjust the straps on the head till they're tight. Place the palms of the hands over the mask and breathe in. The mask should suck into the face and you should hear no air or any noises of air leaking around the seal around your face. Proper use. Do not use a dust filter for a high mold toxin or virus environment. You have to use the right filter for the right environment. Cleaning must be done using betadine or a similar cleaning agent and all surfaces must be wiped clean and dried. 
The soft rubber and foam of the breathing mask or filter should be stored in a clean, environmentally protected and air-conditioned space. Hearing protection. We use either foam inserts or earmuffs, sometimes both. The desirable goal is to attenuate the decibels, usually by 30 decibels. The long-term consequences are partial deafness or full deafness in one or both ears. The cost of hearing aids can be up to $4,000 per hearing aid. Music